what the f Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Master Trainer series here on my channel Pokey Pitch. It's the last round of Master Trainer episodes. What you're watching now is one of three episodes that I have released today, and those three episodes are the last battles I have to do on the Master Trainer series. That is it. I am not kidding, that is it. Well, <laughs> it's been an emotional year. Uh, you know, etc, etc, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. Let's get on with it, shall we? Without further ado, let's get straight into the battles. Uh, so, <clears throat> As you know, today it's the turn of Onyx, Lapras, and Aerodactyl, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnails. Um, this is Onyx, it's a ride Pokemon, as you'd expect. Uh, also, as you can tell, I've got a bit of a sore throat. So you're gonna be having me like this. <laughs> Either way, let's start with Onyx, shall we? Let's have a look at its IVs. That ain't bad at all, really, is it? That ain't bad at all. Pretty sure I caught this one as well. Might have chain caught these. Either way, as is the norm with the singular evolutions, I've leveled it up to level 100. Although I might not have needed it. Either way, here are its moves. Earthquake, stab super effective damage. Although I'm fully expecting it to have a high defense stat, the Onyx Master Trainer, as is the norm for rock types. So I've got Iron Tail and Flash Cannon as super effective moves. One's a physical Iron Tail, one is a special. Um, so I might, if Earthquake doesn't do much, I'm going to go to Flash Cannon next and then Dragon Pulse just to switch it up a bit, really. But yeah, <clears throat> as you can tell, my defence there souped up quite a lot. Haven't really gave it many candies, just levelled it up to level 100, so hopefully that's enough. Either way, let's crack on. This is how you ride Onyx. Pretty cool. I quite like that. <laughs> I'll take that. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, <laughs> up and down, up and down, up and down. There we go, up again and in. There we go. Right, so let's find this Onyx Master Train. I don't think we're going to be able to ride an Onyx in an underground tunnel, even though, ironically, it probably made it itself. There's the Onyx Master Trainer. Oh, and an item, apparently. Eevee's tail wagon. A nugget. Nice, I'll take it. So, straight in with this battle. You are the Onyx Master. I'm hopefully taking that title from you. Like a gym. Right, Jim? <clears throat> Let's do this. Now, these may get... Well, there's tactics at each of these three battles in today's episode. This tactic is this one. Go for Earthquake, see what happens. Oh, you got Protect. We won't know this turn. <laughs> Let's try again on the next turn. Earthquake again. Let's see what happens. Toxic, and I avoided it. Oh, you're quicker. Right, what does this do? Not much, but enough. So, I think we should try that flash cannon. See if their special is going to be lower. Rap! Really? I thought this was going to be a challenge. All I've done so far is lose 2 HP. Oh, anyway. And it... Oh, wow! Okay. Should have gone flash cannon from the start. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm not quicker, <laughs> but I'm definitely using Flash Cannon again. Protect. Boring. So I assume you... Oh, you've got Protect and Toxic. So you were going to Toxic stall me. Huh. Huh. That didn't pay off, did it? And then use Wrap and... Oh, okay, I understand. Didn't work though, did it? So... Why would you go for Wrap again? You're a strange... Oh. You've got a tactic there, I've seen your moves. Badly poison me, get the wrap damage in, and use protect to prolong the damage taken to me. I've won anyway, though, so <laughs> that's good. Come on, give me that sentence that we all look for. Earn the title of Onyx Master. That's me. <coughs> right then, next up, who should we do next? Let's do Lapras next, shall we? Let's do Lapras next. Lapras is actually in Lavender Town. Which is this way. I could fly there, but I feel like I could probably just walk there now, because I've got to get out of here anyway. Um, Lapras is in the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. I'll show you Lapras in a moment. It is a ride Pokemon, but only in water. 
so imagine I'm in water. I don't quite know what it does if I'm not on water, I assume it just follows me. Let's have a look, shall we? We've got to put it to the front of the party anyway. Oh, well, there you go. Let's have a look at its stats first. Here you go, here's its IVs. I'm alright with that. Level 100 with that, not bad at all. And these are its moves. Super effective thunder, super effective um, thunderbolt. Confuse ready to confuse them, might do that first. And Mega Horn, just in case the specials aren't really pulling it off. I know they're super effective, so hopefully they will. Either way, that's my Lapras, so yeah. Uh, right, move to the head of the party and take you out. There we go, right, does it follow me? Don't know. No, it doesn't, so it's only a ride Pokemon in the water. It's a shame, I can't show you it now. Oh well, let's take the journey over to Lavender Town. Not going to be an eventful journey, but hey. Uh, there's the Lapras Master Trainer. Right. Are we ready, guys? Let's do this. Let's do this. I need to stop talking for a bit. Oh, he says, and then carries on talking. Right. Last Hazel. I remember doing a Lapras Master Trainer when I was just playing a game normally, and I think I got absolutely demolished. <laughs> so, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, okay. Confused Ray from the off, I think. Who's quicker? I'm quicker. <coughs> Confused Ray is 100% effective as well. What are you going to use? If anything. You're going to use Confused Ray. Right. Battle of Wills now. Battle of Wills. Okay, so. You weren't hitting yourself in confusion. I obviously will, because that's how this game works. Uh, and also Thunder's only 70% accurate, so what do you think is going to happen? Mr. Thunder. And now you're snapped out of confusion. Of course you have. Of course you have. Of course you would snap out of confusion immediately. Right. Now I've snapped out. Good. And now you're confused again. Hopefully you'll hit yourself with confusion and not hit me with a solar beam. 50-50 chance to hit yourself with confusion? No. No, of course not. Obviously not. You'll break out of confusion this next turn anyway. That didn't do that much, really. I can take that. Right, let's try again. Thunder. Yay, we hit this time. What does it do? What does it do? Not much, really. Not much at all. They must have a high special defense. Paralyzed, though. Good. Something went our way. Yes, and you're paralysed and you can't move. Something's gone our way. Fantastic. Right. Let's try a physical move then of Megahorn. Oh, of course it missed. And of course you snapped out of confusion, right? Oh, dear. Megahorn, I think, is only 85% accurate anyway, and that missed. Let's have a look. 85 and that. 15% chance of that missing. 30% chance of that missing. Two of my three moves, obviously. Obviously. Right then. Go back to the confusion for them. Although I'll probably hit myself now. No, no one's hit themselves in confusion yet. Crazy times. Right, can you actually hit yourself in confusion? That'd be good. Let's have a look. Nope, of course not. No one's hitting themselves in confusion. Right then, let's try again with this 85% accurate move that apparently misses all the time. Finally, someone hit themselves, but it was me, obviously. No, nope, of course you didn't hit yourself in confusion. Of course you pulled through paralysis as well. Two 50-50 chances, that's a 1 in 4 chance, happening twice in a row. That's a 1 in 16 chance of that happening. Obviously. Right. Megahorn. Yay, snapped out of confusion. And it finally hit. That didn't do much either, either. but I'm going to keep going with it. I think they said it snapped out of confusion, but I'm giving up with that now. I, I can't be bothered to carry that on. Oh, we are close. We are one move away from knocking this down. Oh, I can definitely see how I lost this the first time round. I became confused. Right, I think one Thunderbolt, 100% accurate move, will do that. I think it will completely get rid of that. Oh, my, come on. Yes! Right, does it knock it out? Yes! Yes! We defied the odds. And we won.
Yep. Right then. So, two out of three on this episode. Wait for it. Lapras Master. Okay, now I have to go over to Pewter City for the Aerodactyl Master Trainer, so I shall be right back. Right, we're in Pewter City, uh, about to take on the Aerodactyl Master Trainer. This one's going to be an interesting one, uh, as you'll see in a moment. Let's have a look at its stats quickly. I'm alright with all of that as well. Speed's not great, so I don't think we're going to be out speeding in this battle, which is annoying because... One of the moves is Rock Slide, and that can make people flinch, and if they go first to make me flinch, it's not going to be great. Rooster get the HP back up, Iron Tail, again, is a super effective move, and then Dragon Pulse, just in case the special is going to be lower than their physical side. But anyway, let's get Aerodactyl out of the ball, and as you'll see here... <coughs> it's a flying Pokémon! Woo! Which also means I now have to get it out of the ball to get into the building here. So, that was worth it, wasn't it, kids? Right. Last battle of this episode. Oh, just go away. Let me go battle. Right. Yes, there he is. Aerodactyl versus Aerodactyl time. This is going to be a good one. I'm going to go for the stab super effective rock slide from the get go. But as you'll see here, Mega Evolution Special! Hell yeah! Rock slide. Right. Have a look at Mega Aerodactyl. <coughs> look at that. Look at that beard. <laughs> oh, you're going first with Iron Tail. Okay. I'm going to go for a uh, second with Rock Slide! Go on, go on. Oh, half damage. Yes. Another Rock Slide hitting and I am there. I love this Mega Aerodactyl. It is so cool. Roost. Oh, no. Right, what's that going to heal you to? A little bit less than full. Okay. Wait, what? Was my first one a critical hit? Oh no, because when you use Iron Tail, your defense is hard for... Yeah, yeah. What is it? There's a thing. There's a thing. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't want to keep spamming Rock Slide then if they're going to use Roost. Dragon Pulse. And um, oh, Toxic. Oh, these cheap, cheap, cheap tactics that these people use. Toxic. All, it's just cheap tactics. Right, what is, what's your special defense like? Let's just experiment a bit. <laughs> Awful, actually. It's a shame I'm not quicker. Because now you're just going to use Roost again. Yeah. You know, Roost actually grounds you for uh, the remainder of the turn. So you're, you can be hit by ground-type moves. Could be a tactic to use if I want to go for it. Ugh. Oh. It's just... Ah, oh, pointless. I hate pe I just hate Toxic in these battles. It's really annoying. Oh, so close. So damn close. Now, you're just going to use Roost now. Oh. Why do people use... Alright, I'm going to... If I lose this, I'm going to give myself Toxic and I'll show you some of the medicine, shall I? I'll show you what it's like. Right, I'm using Roost as well. There we go. I'm hoping you're going to use Iron Tail. I think that may halve your defence for the rest of the turn. And then I'm going to use Rock Slide and knock you out in one. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen here. Let's just try it. If not, I'm going to give myself Toxic and you're going to have to put up with it. Right then. Oh, so close. God damn it. <laughs> There we go, I'm out. Toxic is such a cheap tactic. It really is. Such a cheap tactic. Oh. Right, well, let's try this one again. Um, just going to quickly 
make sure this is filming okay. Yes, it's filming okay, good, right. Just a cheap tactic, okay. Come on in, get toxic, show them what it's like. Do, 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 toxic, there you go. I'm not gonna have Iron Tail, I'll get rid of that. There you go. Two can play out of that game if you wanna be cheap and just have a really awfully bullying tactic, really. Yes, I would like to face your Aerodactyl. Boring, terrible tactics from you, Hisato. <laughs> I'm going to battle properly, like you should do. Right then, let's go. Not going to have great speed, but who cares? Mega Revolution. Toxic! Using Iron Tail already. <clears throat> Fine. There you go. How's that for a toxic? You plum. <laughs> right then. The only thing is, Rock Slide is only 90% accurate, so I know it's going to miss at some point. Uh, Iron Tail may lower their defense stat, so hopefully it won't do that to me. You're using toxic now. There you go. Level playing field. You're happy now? We're both adopting your terribly cheap and boring tactic. There we go. Right then. So that's done that. How did... How did that rock slide before not... do that much damage then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? You're using Iron Tail now. Why didn't you use Roost? What? So I just won this already, I didn't even need to use Toxic. This is a strange Master Drainer battle, not gonna lie, but either way, I've won, so this episode is done! Get in! I've earned the title of Aerodactyl Master. Well, thank you for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Machop Line episode is the last episode, so if you haven't watched that, go and watch that one, and you'll see me finish all of the Master Trainer Battles, all 153. But for this episode, got my three titles, and I'm happy, so thanks, and I shall see you again later. Goodbye.